Hi, I'm Brittany, and I had a lot of positive response from that basic beginner Pio move video that I created last week, and I thought it would be fun to put together more of a workout that you can actually go through the movements and feel and kind of get a feel for what Pio is really like, because the last thing that I want is for you to have this notion in your head that you can't do it, and so then you just don't try it. Uh, this is hopefully going to give you a little more confidence about what Pio is like and the best part is that it's virtual. No one can see you so if you kind of stumble through things it's fine. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Leave your own judgment off the mat because it doesn't matter. Just showing up is the win. Okay, Let yourself have some fun with the movements. It feels really good and Additionally, if you continue to show up regularly, you're going to notice an increase in strength pretty quickly and you're going to be catching on so much more so it just becomes more and more fun. Okay, so we're going to start on our mat with our warm up Shoulders are down, back core is nice and tight. Arms are out to our sides. We're going to start with two arm circles in and around. Alright, have fun with it. Here we go. Two arm circles. One more. Reach your right arm up side bend. Oh, so good. Two arm circles in and around. Yes. Left arm reaches up side bend. We're going to do that. Again, two arm circles in and around. Woo! Right arm reaches up side bend. And two arm circles in and around. Left arm reaches up side bend. All right, let's tighten our core. Sit in the chair. Right leg lunges back and pull your arms. Chair left. We're going to do this several more times. Chair right. Pull. Chair left. Yes. Chair, tuck your core. Right leg back. Pull. So now you're getting a little more comfortable with it. Pull. Really create some resistance as you pull. Pull. Chair left. Kind of activate those shoulder and back muscles. Big step over to your right. We're going to round and open. Step together. Take it to your left. And open. Back to your right. Round and open. So it's kind of like that standing cat cow that we talked about in that last video. Now quicker. Round, open, round, together. Round, open, round, together. Two more times. Woo! Yes, back to the left. So go to the center of our mat. Let's fan it up and inhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Back to your toes. Bend just your right knee. Now just your left. Bend both sit them off. And then roll it up. We're going to do that move again. Let's fan it up. Inhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Back to your toes. Bend just your right knee. Now just your left. Then go sit in the ball and roll it up. We're going to go from the beginning to our circles in and around. Yes. Right arm reaches up, side bend and pulse it. Stretch that side of your body out. Two arm circles in and around. Left arm reaches up, side bend. Tighten your core. Sit in the chair. Right leg lunges back. Pull. Chair left. And pull. Woo. Chair right. Yes, pull. Chair left. We have that kind of cross from the big step to your right. Round, open, round. Round, open, round, together. Three more. Round, open, round, together. Last two. Woo! To the left. Nice. We're going to center for man. Let's fan it up. Inhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Back to your toes. Bend just your right knee. Now just your left. Then both sit in a ball. And then let's roll it up. From the beginning, two arm circles, then and around. Yes. Right arm reaches up, side bend. Pulse it. Stretch that side. Two arm circles, in and around. Woo. Left arm reaches up, side bend. All right, let's sit. Tighten your core, sit in a chair. Right leg pull. Chair left. Woo, pull. Chair right, and pull. Chair left, and pull. We're going to play across big 
step to your right, round, open, round. Open, round, together. Round, open, round, together. Two more, open, round, together. Last one. We're going to center our mat. Let's stand it up, inhale, forward fold. Half lift. Back to your toes, bend just the right. Now just the left, then both in the ball. And roll it up, we have one more time, two arm circles. This is our last time through. You want your moves to be biggest strength pad them yet. Really warm up your body, two arm circles. Woo! Left arm reaches up, side bend. We're gonna take our core, sit in the chair. Right leg long is pull. Chair left. Yes! Pull, chair right. And pull. Chair left. We're going into the Pio cross. Big step to your right, round, open, round. Open, round, together. Round, open, round, together. Two more. So good, we're going back to our left. Last one. Center the mat, let's fan it up. Inhale, forward fold. Half lift, back to the toes, bend just the right, now just the left. Then both sit in the ball, and roll it up. Let's do that one last time. Fan it up, inhale, forward fold. Half lift, back to your toes, bend just the right, now just the left. Then both sit in the ball, and roll it up. Yes! Oh good, right? And just like that, warm up is done. We're moving on to our flow. Now flow is composed of eight yoga moves and we do the first four and we repeat them. We do the second set of four and we repeat them. And then we put all eight together one time through. We're gonna learn our eight moves. I'm gonna take you through them kind of slowly. I want you to do these with me so that you can feel what we're doing. So we're going to start with a moving warrior two. Now, if you remember from our video, our heel would intersect our arch. So you can literally start just with your left heel and your right arch. So your feet are perpendicular to one another. Now step your right leg back and keep it in that same position. So your right foot is pointing at your right wall. And then you wanna step your left foot forward enough so that your knee can be over your ankle and bend into that leg. You don't have to be super low or anything. You can even be right up here, down a little more, whatever feels good to you. You just don't want your knee to go past your toes. So this is our warrior footing. And what our warrior two is, is we're just reaching forward and back. And our arms aren't just accessories. They're not just kind of hanging out. We actually reach through the fingertips of both arms, both hands. So our right arm is reaching toward the back, our left arm is reaching forward, and you're activating all of those muscles in your shoulders, your triceps, your back. Watch the difference. So here I am just kind of hanging out. Now I'm gonna really activate everything, reaching through forward and back. You can just notice everything is working when you're reaching through. All right, so our first move is that warrior two. We're reaching forward and back, and we start down, and we're just gonna kind of move through it, coming on up and going right back down. That's all that first move is, reaching through our fingertips, forward and back. Then we're going to go front foot, back foot, circle around. Now, when you do that, you're gonna notice that your feet are now gonna be pointing off in both directions like a 45 degree. So you're not keeping your feet in that warrior position. They're gonna kinda of go at a 45. And we're just, the aim is really just to kinda of get a nice little stretch in each of the inner thighs. So I know that I typically go to where I'm touching the mat, front foot, back foot, circle around. Maybe you are just right here, front, back, circle. And in that circle, you're gonna feel an awesome stretch up the side of your body. So let's do that together. We just go front foot, back foot, circle around. The last time through, we're gonna become a star. So that's just, our head is one of the points and then our four other points, right? Our arms and our legs. 
I like to think of this as the kid skiing down the hill move. I don't know if you've ever seen that from a distance, but they do just kind of look like all these little stars, just kind of sliding down the hill. So we are a star. And what we're gonna do is just a squat and lift, squat and lift. So our legs are nice and far apart. We call this a sumo squat. And then our fourth move, we're gonna go into a right angle. So we're gonna fix our feet into that warrior positioning. So my heel would intersect my arch. We're gonna bend into that front leg, trying to form a 90 degree with our leg, okay? It's okay if you don't, if you're not quite there, that's fine. Then our left hand reaches down, we stack shoulder on shoulder, trying to form a straight line with our arms. So that's that right angle. And then we're going to straighten the front leg into a triangle. Our next set of four moves, we're gonna start with flight. So that left foot is forward, our right foot is back. We're bending into that front leg, knee is over ankle, body is forward. We're reaching through the fingertips, activating those shoulders and tricep muscles. Again, we're not just kind of like letting them be accessories, we're reaching through. Then we're gonna come on up, and then we're going to twist and come on up. Now notice my lower body doesn't move at all. I'm staying low. I come up to a high lunge, I twist, come up to a high lunge. Now, you don't have to be as low as me, but what you wanna make sure is that your knee is never past your toes. So maybe you're more in a lunge like this, where you are flight, come up to high, twist, come up to high. So you don't have to be as far back and as low. You can be a little less deep in that, but still working that front leg the whole time. Next move, we're going to go into a bowler, tap, side atlas. Okay, so a bowler, it's as if we just bowl the bowling ball. <laughs> so we're going to step that right leg just diagonally back, go into a squat, bowl, tap, side atlas. And all the side atlases, so we're going to pull, tap, the foot steps behind, and we just get a beautiful curve of our body, feeling that stretch up the side. So let's do that together two times. So it's a bowl, tap, side atlas. One more time. Bowl, tap, side atlas. Last move. We're going to go into a low runner's lunge, hold. Or if you don't want to be this low, if you don't want to touch the mat, you're going to be up here in a high runner's lunge. Now we're going to put all eight moves together, starting with our flow right. So that right foot starts forward, pointing forward. Our left foot steps back, pointing to the left wall. So let's reach through the fingertips, activating the shoulder muscles. Here we go. We're just going to move through it. Come on up. Right back down. Up. Keeping that knee over the ankle. Two more. Take it down. Two and up. One more time. All right, we're going to lunge front, back, circle. Here we go. So we lunge front, back, circle around. You can take it as deep as you want. So I'm going to take it to the floor now. Front, back, circle. One more time. We're going to become a star at the top and sumo squat it out. Down and up. So we're just Squatting nice and wide, hold, pretend that you're doing a lat pull down, as if there's some resistance there. We have two more. We're going into a right angle right here, so fix your feet into that warrior footing, and we're bending that front leg into a 90 degree, and then straighten that leg into a triangle and hold. It's okay if you're not as deep into this move as I am. Let's lift your upper body, bend into that front leg, reach through from the beginning, come on up. We're going to do the same thing that we just did. Come on up, reach through the fingertips, activating those deltoids. Yes, one more time. We're going to lunge, front back circle right here. Front, back, circle around, do it again. Front, back, circle, two more times. Front, back, circle, last one. Let's become a star at the top. Here we go. Squat it out. Down and up. Nice. So 
we're just in that sumo squat, moving through up here. Four more. Four. Three. Two. We're going to go into that right angle. Fix your feet. Bend into that front leg, reaching your right arm down, left arm up. And then let's straighten that front leg into a triangle. So good. We're going to cut it in half. Let's lift our upper body up, bend into that front leg, reach through your fingertips. Come down, come right back up. One more. Nice. We're going to reach front back circle right here. Front, back, circle around. One more. Yes. Become a star at the top. Sumo squat. Four. Three. Doesn't it just feel good to move your body? One more. Fix your feet. Right angle. And then to triangle. We're moving on. Let's go into our flight. So both feet are forward, pointing forward. Come up to high. Twist right. Come up to high. Back to flight. Come up to a high lunge. Twist right. Come up to a high lunge. Stay in low in those legs. Come on up high. Twist. Come on up high. One more time, flight. Come on up high. Twist. We're going to go into that bowler tap side atlas. Left leg bowls. Bowl. Tap. Side atlas. Three more. Bowl. Tap. Side atlas. Two more. Bowl. Tap. Side atlas. Again. Woo. We're going to go into that little runner's lunge right here. So that left leg steps back. Knee over ankle, not past toes. If you don't want to do that, you can be up here in a high lunge. So good. We're going to go back to flight. Here we go. Reach through those fingertips. Activate those muscles. Come up to high. Twist right. Come up to high. We're doing that three more times. Flight. Come up to high. Twist right. Yes. Come up to high. Right back to flight two more times. Whew. It really warms up your body, doesn't it? Twist. So much heat is created and such beautiful movements. One more time, flight. Come up high. Twist right. We're going bowl, tap, side atlas. Let's do it. Bowl, tap, side atlas. Three more. Bowl, tap, side atlas. Two more. Bowl, tap, side atlas. Last one. We're going to go into that low or high runner's lunge. So maybe you're here. Maybe you take it all the way down low. It's up to you. We're here for four, three, two. Let's go into flight. One more time, cutting it in half. Flight. Come up high. Twist right. Come up high. Let's do that one more time. Flight. Woo. Come up high. Twist right. Come up high. We're going to go bold, tap, side atlas. Bold, tap. Side atlas, let's do it again. Whew. Going into that low runner's lunge right here. Or maybe you're up a little higher. We're gonna put everything together. Drop that left heel, lift your upper body. We're in the warrior two position. Come up, one more, take it down and up. Reach front, back, circle, front, back, circle. One more time. Whew. Become a star at the top. Here we go, squat it out, four. Three, two, warrior feet, right angle, and then to triangle. Go into your flight right here. Last four moves. Come up high. Twist right. Nice. Come up to high. One more time, flight. Whew. Come up high. Twist right. We're going bowl tap side atlas. Last two moves. Bowl. Tap, side atlas, one more. Woo! And then a low runner's lunge. Take it down and hold. Oh, so good. Step that left foot up to your right. Maybe just take it down into a ball. And then let's roll it up. Now it's our left side's turn. So we're going to start that left foot forward. Right foot is back. My left heel intersects my right arch. Right foot is pointing at the right wall. Tighten your core. Bend into that front leg. Knee is staying over our ankle, not past our toes. 
reach forward and back through the fingertips, and we're going to start right as soon as the music starts. Here we go. Sit down, come on up. Three more. Down, and lift. Reach your those fingertips, activate your deltoids, your triceps, everything's working here. One more. Nice. We're going to reach front back circle. Here we go. Front, back. Now remember, you don't have to go so deep. You can put it here. Back, circle. Do what feels good to your body. We have one more time. Front, back. Let's become a star at the top. Squat it out. Down and up. Nice. Really pull. Pull. So you're activating those back muscles. Four more. Four. It's like a lat pull down. Two more. Nice. We're going to fix our feet. Go into that right angle. So you got those warrior feet bending into that front leg, forming a 90 degree if you can. And then we're going to straighten that front leg into a triangle hold. Three, two. We're going to do exactly what we just did. Lift your upper body, moving. Warrior two, come on up. Reach in the fingertips, take it down. Two more of those. Really activate those muscles in your back, your shoulders. Nice, one more. We're going to reach front back circle right here. Front, back, circle. Maybe you're here instead. Front, back. Just do what you can do. Two more. Front, back, circle. Last one. Let's become a star at the top. Squat it out. Nice. Nice wide base to full squat. Taking it down and up. Such a strong move. Four more. Four. Three. Two, one, warrior two feet, right angle. And then straighten that front leg into a triangle hold. We're going to cut everything in half, lift your upper body, moving warrior two. Here we go, reach through the fingertips, come on up. One more time, take it down. So good, let's reach front back circle right here. Front, back. Circle one more time. Woo. Let's become a star at the top. Squat it out. Four, three, yes, two. And then right angle, fix your feet. Straighten the triangle. We're going to move on. Move it into that flight. Next four moves. Here we go. Flight. Reach through the fingertips. Come on up. We're going to twist left this time. Twist. Come on up. Back to flight. Reach through the fingertips. Come on up, twist, come on up. Two more times, flight. Body is forward, come on up, stay low, twist left. Yes, one more time, take it down, fly. Come on up, twist left. We're going full tap, side atlas right here. Full, tap, side atlas, do it again. Full, tap, side atlas, two more. Full, tap, side atlas, beautiful stretch. We're going into that low runner's lunge, or you can go into a high lunge, either way. I like resting my hands on the ground. A few more seconds, we're gonna go right back to that flight, doing exactly what we just did. Let's fly, reach your fingertips, come on up to high lunge, twist left. Come on up to high. One more time, or three more times, actually. Come on up, twist left. Come on up. Two more times, here we go, fly. Come up, twist left. Come on up. One last time, flight. Come on up, twist left. Come on up, we're going full tap. Side atlas, here we go, full tap. Side atlas, three more, full. Tap, side atlas, two more. Full, tap, side atlas, last one. We're going into that low runner's lunge, hold. Take it down. Maybe you're in a high lunge instead. We're gonna cut this in half. We're getting so close. Let's go right back into our flight. Here we go, lift our upper body, move. Reach through those fingertips, come up to high, twist left. Comes at a front leg feeling. Holy cow, we're working hard here. Flight, come on up to high. Twist left. Come up to high. Full tap side atlas. Full tap 
side out. Let's, let's do it again. Yes, going into that low runner's lunge. We are going to put all eight moves together. Drop that right foot. Lift your upper body. Moving warrior two. Reach in your fingertips. Come on up. One more. Holy cow, we're almost done. Reach front, back, circle. Front, back, circle. One more time. Front, back. Become a star at the top right here. Four sumo squats. Three. Yes. Two, one more. Right angle, fix your feet. So left foot's forward, right foot points at the right wall, stack shoulder on shoulder, straighten the triangle. We're going right back to flight. Here we go. Fly, come on up to high lunge, twist left. Come up, one more time, flight. Come up to high, twist left. Come up to high, pull, tap, side out, let's pull, tap. Side. Again, one more. Woo. And then we're going into that low runner's lunge or you're in a high lunge, either way. So good. Step your right foot up to your left. Maybe take it into a ball. Woo. And then let's roll it up. Wow. And now it's time to cool it down already. We're going to start with a sun salutation. We're only going to do the one. We're just going to take it down and we're not going to come back up. So we're just going to take it down and stretch our body out. So we're starting near the top of our mat. Shoulders are down and back, core's in nice and tight. We're going to fan it up and inhale. Here we go, fan it up, inhale, forward fold. Half lift. And then plant your hands, step it back to a plank. You can go to your knees if you'd like. We're just gonna lower down right here. Up dog, down dog, hold. And then just take it right back to plank. Let's lower all the way down to our belly. Make a fist with your left hand. We're gonna rest our forehead on it. Grab your right hand, with, right ankle with your right hand, or your right foot really. And you're just gonna stretch out that quadricep. Wiggle around till you feel it elongate. A few more seconds here. Just enjoy this feeling. Stretch it out. Four, three, two. All right, let's switch. Left ankle, left hand. Make a fist with your right hand. And just rest your forehead right on it. Wiggle your body a little bit until you can really feel that quadricep stretch out. We're going to be here for another 32 counts. Just stretch it out. Enjoy this feeling. We're here for four, three, two. We're going to press into a cobra. So hands go to the mat and we're just kind of pressing up. Stretching out our core. And then let's take it into a child's pose. So knees go wide, feet together, toes together, I should say. Butt goes on your heels. And just relax your forehead toward the mat. Reach your fingertips out in front of you. You can always do a child's pose anytime you need a break. Let's press into a tabletop. So we're on our hands and knees. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Pull your belly button into your spine and start to arch it up like a cat. Pull. And then we're going to release it right here. And just hold. We're going to do that one more time. Belly button comes into the spine, arch it up. And then let's release. Nice. Curl up your toes under, press into a down dog. So we're relaxing our head and neck between our biceps and just begin to pedal out your heels one at a time, stretching out your calves. Nice. Let's take it back down onto our knees and we're gonna go into a seated position. Cross your right leg over your stretched out in front of your left leg. Sitting up nice and tall, we're just going to twist to our right, stretching out our spine. So 
good. And then let's switch. Left, right leg goes out in front, cross your left over and sit up top and twist. Bottoms of the feet come together in a butterfly. So sit up tall, press your knees toward the ground, stretching out the inner thighs. And then let's sit crisscross. Open up your chest, stretch out your shoulders, your biceps, your chest muscles. Round it forward. Stretching out your upper back. So good. Right arm comes across your chest. I think this really is magic and movement. Don't you just kind of feel good right now? Like I said, I have not met a Kaya workout or a run that I haven't left feeling better because of. You can't say that about a lot of things in life, but movement, it's magical. Oh, stretching out those shoulders. Let's open up our chest one more time. Going into tricep stretch, right side. Just elongate that tricep. And then let's switch it over to the left. Oh, way to go. The more that you believe that you can do the hard things, the more change you're going to see in your life. So let me know what questions you have or feedback or just if you want to get signed up already. Let's do this. It's 25 bucks a month. You get a ton of workouts for $25 for the month. And I'm always looking for group input to really improve it. What kind of videos do you want me to create? What kind of workouts are you looking for? So shoot me a message. Thanks for being here. Bye.